Well, political pundits say Clinton didn't reveal anything new today in her economic plan, but how realistic is it? CBS 2's Randy Page had a local economist crunch the numbers. Thank you. Hillary Clinton laid out her economic platform, beginning with a plan to create new jobs by investing in the nation's infrastructure. We will put Americans to work building and modernizing our roads, our bridges, our tunnels, our railways, our ports, our airports. I think it's a, a good idea. At Beacon Economics in Westchester, well. economist Robert Kleinhen says Hillary Clinton's plan to invest $278 billion in the nation's infrastructure is a worthwhile long-term investment. This is an opportune time to invest in our future. Interest rates are low. The Democratic presidential nominee also outlined her plan to make college tuition free for the middle class. And debt free for everyone. Kleinhen says an investment in education will help redistribute the nation's wealth, which is now concentrated in the highest income levels. Clinton is also calling for corporations which move overseas to be penalized with an exit tax. Corporations should not abandon profitable operations here in the United States to move abroad just to give shareholders a quicker return. Kleinhen says it would be much more effective to offer corporate rewards rather than punishments. I much prefer the incentive-based approach. Although he is critical of some elements in Clinton's proposals, this economist says policies which lessen the gap between rich and poor should be a part of the nation's long-term goals. And he says that is why he supports many elements of the Clinton economic plan. Thank you all. In Westchester, Randy Page, CBS 2 News.